We often think of custody and visitation as rights that rest only with parents or guardians. The 2000 New Jersey case of V.C. v. M.J.B., however, tells another story. In 1993, M.J.B. began dating V.C. Shortly thereafter, M. began artificial insemination treatments she'd been planning for over a decade. In December, V. moved in with M., who later learned she was pregnant with twins. The couple moved into a larger place to accommodate the unborn babies. When the twins were born, M. took maternity leave, and V. took three weeks of vacation off work. The couple opened joint bank accounts for household expenses and savings accounts for the babies, with V. listed as the custodian on one and M. on the other. They decided the twins would call M. Mommy and V. Mima. They functioned and held themselves out as a family, and both women provided childcare. On doctor and daycare forms, M. listed V. as the other mother and gave her medical power of attorney over the kids. In 1995, the couple bought a home. V proposed to M, and they had a commitment ceremony, in which the four were also blessed as a family. However, the couple broke up the next year in August. Until November, they took turns living in the house with the kids. V moved out in December. For the following six months, M allowed V's visitation with the kids, and V contributed to household expenses. In May of 1997, however, M stopped allowing V's visitation and refused to accept V's money. V filed for joint legal custody and visitation in trial court, which found that V didn't sufficiently establish she was a de facto or psychological parent. As such, the court rejected V's requests, relying heavily on the fact that M independently made the decision to have children. V appealed, and the appellate court affirmed the lower court's custody decision but reversed on visitation finding that V was a psychological parent and the children's best interests were served by continuing visitation. Both parties appealed to the state Supreme Court.